Hey everybody, welcome to Little John's Yarns. I haven't said this in such a long time. Is this your very first time here? What I like to do here is talk about all things crochet and drink wine at the uh, same time. So thank you everybody for joining me. I have not done a live stream in almost two whole months. I took myself a nice little summer break, but I am so happy to be here again. And thank you guys for the ones that showed up. I'm glad you didn't forget about me. And I also want to thank you to my new uh, members. We have Life and Stitches, uh, Laluzi. Hope I hope I can say this right. I know I didn't say her name right. Lalu Lazula. Thank you. There we go. Lazula, uh, Erica, and Karen. Guys, thank you so much for being a channel member. If you guys notice, there's a little join button down below. I have a membership. And with my membership, there comes a whole lot of perks. We have two separate perks, yarnies and yarnivores. But we'll talk about all that later. But if any of you join during this live stream, including the ones that already joined, I will send you a free, my free book or my book for free, The Secret to Selling Crochet. But we'll talk about all that later. Okay, so we are going to be looking at 10 planter and planter hangers uh, to decorate your home with. Because, you know, it's more like summertime, so we don't want to crochet with anything hot. So, excuse me, this is real weird for me because it's been so long. I almost feel like I'm being a whole newbie all over again. Man, I was so nervous coming on before live. I was telling my husband, I'm like, I feel like I'm going to vomit. It's been so long. Do I still have it? So as always, I have my liquid courage. So everybody, where are you from? What time is it? And if you're just catching this on a replay, or if this is your very first time here, you might notice that I talk a lot. This is a live stream, but don't worry. All the patterns that I'm going to be going over today will be down in the description box below. So you don't have to hear me chimmering and chammering all through this video. Just click the link down below and go directly to all these patterns. So this is how we're going to work this whole pattern roundup. I am going to show you two patterns. And after that, I'm going to come back and ask you a question or we're going to go over a little Q&A between each other. So I know I'm talking pretty fast. I'm sorry. So before we hop into this roundup, the question that I'm going to ask you this summer so far, I know it's still going past the whole COVID season. Have you guys gone anywhere during this COVID season? All right, before you put your comments in the comment section, make sure you put little question marks in front of your uh, reply so I'll know to bring them up to the front of the screen. All right, so now we're just gonna hop into the very first part of the roundup. Here we go. First, we are going to, that's not the first one I want to look at. Sorry guys, this is the first one I want to look at. I should have had this set up beforehand, forgive me. First, we're going to look at the crochet plant hanger pods. One skein of Barnett's Maker Home Decor yarn makes two of these trendy hanger planter pods, one big and one small. The chunky cotton nylon yarn makes this crochet plant hanger project extra thick and is machine washable too. The designer of this pattern is Yarnspiration. Now is it the bunny pattern. Actually, I have this all out of order. Where's the bunny pattern? It's right here. This is called the Spring Bunny Crochet Plant Cover. Bunnies aren't always just for Easter. You can celebrate spring all year round with this delightful bunny planter cover. This is one of those free crochet plant hangers and holder designs that would look right at home in a kid's bedroom or patio. So those were extra cute. So the question that I asked you what have you been doing for this past summer? Have you gone anywhere? Well, I'll go first, but if you're just um, showing up now and replying, make sure you put question marks in front of your reply so I'll know to bring you up to the front. I have done absolutely nothing this summer, nothing. Well, actually, uh, me and my, on my anniversary, my husband and I went to the cabin. We don't go anywhere extravagant. And plus the cabin is quite secluded. It's one of those places you can rent I think it cost us like $400 or something for the weekend. Wasn't too bad. Luckily, I had saved up some money from doing this real big sale. So I'm like, I'm proud of myself. Let's, you know, 
reward ourselves. So we went there. It was absolutely beautiful. It had a pond out front, a hot tub in the back. It was a nice little honeymoon anniversary trip. So that's the only thing I've done. And that was back in June. Haven't done nothing since I've been home crocheting in the hot. I don't have central air. So let's hop into the comments and see what you guys have been up to. And I've always say this, if I'm talking too much and you're just here for the patterns, all the pattern links is down below. Mary Ford said, staycation, home, pool. Oh, you're so lucky. I would love a pool. I would actually love central air. We have like um, air window units sitting in all our windows. So our house sounds like ah, nonstop. Oh. Let's see what else. Roberta, yes, I went to the Outer Banks in North Carolina, rented a home so we didn't have to deal with people. That's the best thing to do. I, me and my husband, when we first got together and we didn't have much money, we would call, we would go out on trips. We call it Mosey Woseys and we would just go to the local hotel just for a day so we can get away. But now I think we upgraded about maybe on our anniversary and both of our birthdays. So three times a year, we save up and we go to the cabin. Oh, so nice. I feel like I'm almost bougie, like, yes, me and my husband, we're going to the cabin, but we're just renting. I wish I had my own. Let's see. Jonathan, stay at home. Uh, my child did, didn't want to leave, didn't want to leave the house. Actually, is it just me or none of these children, minus uh, the whole epidemic or with pandemic, Kids don't play outside. I have to force my kid off Fortnite. I know I should be the parent and be like, ah, but sometimes it's just, I, I, I won't even go into it, but they don't go outside. Okay. Hey, this is J Hook uh, Crochet, aka, no, actually, Reggie, aka J Hook Crochet. She is one of the moderators and she has her own YouTube channel. So, guys, make sure you check her out. She is amazing. So, we're going to hop back into the roundup of these crochet planters and uh, hangers that we're talking about. I lost train of thought. Oh, I also forgot to tell you, if you would like to donate via Super Chat, you'll see the little sign here behind me. When you do donate, you'll notice the lights will go off and I'll have bubbles go off up above. And when you do, you'll also have a chance to spin the wheel of patterns, which I'll show you right here. And these patterns are um, patterns that are in my crochet shop that you'll receive as a thank you for donating. So, Let's hop back in it. The next question that I'm going to ask, what have you been making? I know in the summertime, people don't tend to crochet a lot. They tend to ramp up in the fall time making stuff for Christmas. So what have you been making? Before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know you're participating and I can pull it up to the front. All right. Let's see. Share screen. We did that one. We did the bunny. Ooh, that's a nice one. This is called, I have these so out of order. And one more thing, let me make sure I share my screen. Yes, I shared my screen. I do that sometimes and just watch me read. This is called the Chevron Crochet Plant Hanger. Let me read what it says. What can you make with only 20 yards of yarn? Actually, you can make this trendy crochet plant hanger. What's a great way to um, use up yarn left over from a project? I love the bold chevron design and the chunky wooden beads. The designer of this simple pattern is Hello Happy. This is such a simple pattern. When sometimes as a designer, when I see patterns like these, I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. I wish I would have thought of it. But guys, you can find all these free patterns down in the description box below. Ooh, this one's cute. The next one we are looking at, this is called the alpaca planter. Let me scroll a little bit so you can see that cute little planter closer. This colorful design combines two of the most popular trends right now, alpacas and plants. Grab a neutral yarn for the main pattern and dip into your scrap basket for a small amount of yarn for the accent colors. The designer of this cute pattern is Sweet Softies. This is so cute. I would have, this is something I would have never thought to design. Actually, anybody who does amigurumi, I think is absolutely amazing. They like basically sculpt with crochet stitches. My camera seems dark. That's weird. I don't know how to adjust it. 
Okay, so we're gonna hop into the question that I asked. I asked, what have you been making? So I'll show what I've been making. This pattern is gonna be released Monday. I've been making a whole bunch of sandals. I made one sandal pattern and it exploded. I've never had anything in my life go viral. I had popular patterns, but a pattern that went from like one view to like a quarter of a million views in a week, that's not viral in the world. But to me, I was like, oh. so I end up making a thousand versions of crochet flip flops. People wonder like, wouldn't the uh, yarn stretch because of surrounding ankle? Actually, no, because the flip flop is holding a lot of the weight. So it makes it easier and little has their little buttons. And I have one more pattern that's coming out in the middle of August. This cute little peekaboo toe slipper. This like peekaboo toe was inspired by the arcade stitch. This is the arcade stitch. I realized I was able to manipulate it in such ways to make holes. So I was real proud of this pattern. Like, ooh. So let's see what you guys have been making. I've been talking a lot. Drink my wine. And guys, it's just me or my screen a little uh, tended. Oh, I see some of our, my favorites. I see unapologetic mocha hair. Oh, so many people are here. Oh, there's a lot of people answering. Okay. Here we go. Knit and crochet tiger. I've only been to the doctor, <laughs> but I crochet an amigurumi triceratops for myself and getting ready to start one of my nephews in a few minutes. Know what? When you went to the doctor, if you're like me, did you end up putting on earrings, a little bit of lipstick and actually nice clothes? It's like just to go to like the grocery store. I feel like I need to dress up. I haven't gone anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Michelle says, I just got back from camping with the kids. We stayed in the trailer, so we cheated. That is about the only thing we've done. That is so nice. I, I haven't done that in a while. We used to have a camper because my mother-in-law's boyfriend gave me their old camper. It was like from 1995. And we have this place uh, where I live. It's called Yogi, Yogi Bear, Yogi Park. We did this like three years ago before the pandemic. It was so nice. We just pulled our camper up in there and it had activities. Ah, me and my family, we love nature. I think it was called Yogi Bear. Oh, my son just, oh, it's funny how you pay attention. My son said it was called Yogi Bear. Thank you, my boy. <laughs> my son, he's 10 years old. There we go. Starla says, at least twice from the same yarn. And holy heck, my friends told me that I'll have to take a break. I get to sneak in some while we're covering. 7W7? I, I feel like I missed what happened before. Or I'm probably scrolled back too far. Oh, I'm scrolled back all the vacations. That's where I am. Here we go. Michelle says, I made a baby blanket for my great nephew in November, made two amigurumis for my son, and also have a poncho on my hook from Bag, Bag of Day. Oh, I love her. And Red Heart Ombre. Reggie says, testing patterns for three other designers, two shawls and one tank top. How do you find the time? Okay, guys, if you don't know, some people are new here. I got a lot of subscribers because of those sandals. Reggie also has a crochet YouTube channel and she also does like a yarniversity where she teaches you all these tips, tricks with crochet and lessons and your testing patterns and your crate. I don't know how you find the time. You're amazing. So cheers to you. You probably can't. Can you see this? I got a new cricket machine. It says yarn balling. Man, I've been cricketing everything. I hope I don't mess anything up. Oh, guys, I want to show you. I even put something. Please don't break camera. Can you guys see? I even put little John yarns above my craft room, a.k.a. my living room. I think I didn't mess anything up. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Rizia. I, I was about to answer Rizia's, but it scrolled by too quick. Rizia is one. There you are. Rizia is one of my faves. I've been making lots of I'm a grooming. I'm working on a cardigan. Loving crochet by Sarah. Latch hook rugs of, of a lion. Awesome. Cardigan and amigurumis. Woo. 
I should have a fan in here. So hot. I'm going to scroll and skip if you don't mind me. Don't think I'm being mean. Here we go. Timmy says, what about flip-flops without the toe hold? I do have a pattern of flip-flops without the toe hold. <laughs> flip-flops without the toe hold. I have a pattern. You might have to, I'll link it down in the description after the replay, or you can just say Little John Yarn flip-flops. I have those too. But sometimes for me personally, if you've ever made any of those, I hate punching holes in the flip-flop. I get so annoyed by it, but it does make a cuter shoe. I've seen, I think it was Make and Do Crew. They made these cute loafer shoes with uh, the flip-flop. I just hate punching holes, just me personally. There we go. All right, so I am going to hop back into this. We're going to look at two more patterns, but of course, I'm going to ask the question first. So for the new people that are here that might not know anything about me, we want to, what, I want to know about you. What is your favorite crochet hook? Let me know, but before, and let me know why it's your favorite crochet hook. So make sure you put question marks before you reply. So I know to bring it to, to the front. So what is your favorite crochet hook? Oh, gosh, I got to take a sip and breathe. It is so hot in here. Okay. Share the screen. We did this one. Oh, I already did that one. Did we do this one? I don't think so. Let me scroll. I, I realize I have some of these out of order. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. So I'm scrolling, scrolling. One more time, make sure I got on a screen share and I do. And this one is called the Summer Sherbert Crochet Planter. Guys, forgive me. Capture those sweet summer vibes with the bright rainbow Sherbert colors. I love crochet planter hangers and holders that have lots of texture, like this lovely ridge design. The easy crochet pattern only uses single crochet through both loops and single crochet through the back loops. The designer of this is inspired by Ren. This one, that's a perfect pattern for beginners. Let's see if she has any step-by-step -step pictures. Oh, I love pictures. Oh, she does have step-by-steps. Guys, look how easy this is. It's not too bad. And once you make it off this, the stitches probably stays the same all the way around until it's a certain size. All right, so the next one we're going to look at, let me scroll. Oh, that one's cute. Let me pull this ad off of it. This one is called the Teddy Bear Planter. A sturdy cotton rayon yarn is an excellent choice for a sturdy crochet plant holder. You can also choose to use this adorable teddy bear as a basket instead. I love the simplicity of this design and adorable expression on the bear's face. The designer of this is Thorsby Cottage. <laughs> and like I said, guys, if you don't want to hear me chit chat all about these patterns right now, I have all the pattern links down below and every single pattern is free. Whenever I do these roundups, you don't have to worry about shelling out money to purchase a pattern. All right. And I forgot to say, anybody today that joins uh, becomes a member of the new uh, uh, Little John Yarns membership. You'll see that little join button down below. I just started it this morning. You'll receive a free copy of my secret to selling crochet. Uh, I should have pulled it up on Amazon. Let's see if I can still do that now so I can show you exactly what that. There we go. Share my screen so you can see what I'm doing. The secret to selling. There I am. Crochet. Here's the book right here. But if you already have Amazon Kindle, you can have it for free already. But anybody else who happens to join uh, my membership today will get a free copy of The Secret to Selling Crochet. If you want to learn how to start your own business crocheting, last year I finally quit my day job and start doing this full time. And trust me, it's still work. But I'm happy during the work that I actually want to do. And also, you don't have to uh, go to Amazon, purchase the book, or join. You can always check my blog and all my old videos. I talk about how to make money with crochet all the time. So the question 
I babble so much. I'm sorry. The question that I asked, what is your favorite hook? My favorite crochet hook is Susan Bates. I was actually thinking about why is it my favorite hook? I believe that's exactly what my grandma taught me on when I first learned. In my head, I like to say I like it because it grabs the yarn easier and the hook slides through the stitches easier. But am I just saying that because that is what my grandmother used and I learned to love it? But I love Susan Bates. I love inline. Boy crochet hooks, I despise because the no offense to people who love it to each their own, but their heads are so like bulbous. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. All right, let's see what everybody else has to say about those. Roberta says, I have old hooks passed to me from mom, but originated from generations, came to the US from Germany. Wow, that's amazing. I wish I had that. Actually, my grandmother was the first one to crochet and any hooks that she probably gave me my grand, we were the same. We lost hooks. I know I'll never pass any crochet hooks on to my family members because I lose them so much. Now I just buy plastic crochet hooks. But that's beautiful that you have it. But I do have my grandmother's things that she's made in crochet. Willow Crochet, hey, my favorite crochet hook is a custom resin one I bought for my small Etsy store. It's my favorite because I got to design it myself. That is so cool. Hmm. I might have to look on Etsy about that too. I've never tried before. And that will probably be a great gadget review. It'll probably be great to do a review with somebody who's actually like a small business, you know, instead of a big business. There we go. Leanne said, I recently bought a set of print ergonomic hooks and I'm loving them. They are thicker on the end, but are really smooth without edges or anything. They're plastic, but aren't sticky at all. Hmm. I just bought a furls cursor, a furls crochet hook. Oh, we got a super chat. I can't find the super chatter. I see you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you in my Robin. Cheers. And you probably can't see the bubbles. See, I'm trying to be fancy. Uh, can you see the bubbles? Thank you so much. Robin, Hook by Robin is a crochet superstar. We're seeing a crochet superstar in the wild and she stalks through the comments. I'm just kidding. She is so awesome. She has the most amazing YouTube channel. And a couple months ago, she happened to join me on my live stream. I wish we should do it again. I think we really should. And Ashley, we should probably increase the drink to make it more fun. So everybody should scream for Robin to be on the show again. Show like this is a TV show on the live stream again. <laughs> and thank you so much. Oh yeah, and cheers to you. Maria, one of my faves. Clover all day, every day. However, I treated myself to the Furls crochet hook and they're just awesome. Pretty heavy, but I find them really comfortable to work with. Oh yeah, that just brings me back to what I was talking about. I just try the Furls. I don't know. I know I need a ergonomic crochet hook. I'm not officially diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis yet, but my, what is they call it? Your rheumatoid factor is elevated. So I have to go to rheumatoidologist, but I know my joints hurt and I know I need to start using those, but they feel so bulky in my hand. But I know the more I train myself to be better. But the furls, I did like the tip of their hook. It's not exactly Susan Bates. It's more like the tip of a clover. What do you think, Maria? Okay, let's see. Who else? Oh, we got another super chat. Wait, who was that? Wait, wait, did you super chat twice? Wait, am I seeing things? Wait, Rebecca, here we go. Rebecca, thank you so much for super chatting. And also, if you guys wondered why I didn't let Robin spin the reel, I probably should have. 
because you're a crochet designer, but we'll still let you spin the wheel if you would like to, Robin. I'm sorry. But Rebecca says, hello, I'm on a break at work. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for spending the day with me or your break with me, the couple minutes that you have, so chair. So I'm gonna let you spin the wheel of patterns. Let's see, here we go. On the wheel of patterns, let's see what pattern you'll get. You'll get the Reggie slippers. I'll show you what the Reggie slippers look like. They are right here. In order to get these slippers, you will have to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. The email is actually down below because on YouTube, I can't find you. You have to find me. So email me and I'll send you that pattern. Thank you so much for donating. Alicia, you have a super chat from, oh, I just got it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, right. Robin says, spin the wheel for me. I have no idea what the wheel is, but spin it. All right. Are you ready, Robin? Isn't that that exciting? It's just the wheel of patterns. So anybody who donates, as a, a token of my appreciation, I let you spin the wheel of patterns and you landed on the granny hat. So I'll take you over here and show you what the granny hat is. Here is the granny hat. So if you would like that pattern, Robin, even though your patterns are 80 times better than mine, you know how to email me and I'll send it to you. That's so funny. Spinny. I don't know. I just had to say it. Who else did I miss? What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, the hooks. Oh, do we got a uh, starless? Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Specifically, Subin base four millimeters specific uh, because I like how it feels and I already have a blast whenever I crochet with the hook. E four. You know what? I like using fours when I make slippers, especially when I make slippers with worsted weight yarn because it's like a more solid, I don't know, fabric. It won't have any loose, gappy areas. Let's see, did I miss anybody? Michelle says, I love my aluminum hooks that I got from Walmart. I started with Ergo hooks and not a fan of them now. And somebody said I should have had my hooks. What does a uh, Susan Bate hook look like? Okay, I'm gonna try not to mess up my setup. Oh, okay. Ooh. What's a Susan Bates and an inline hook? I buy cheap ones because I lose them all the time. Okay, as you can see, look at the shape of the head. That is the inline hook. I get plastic ones all the time. Aluminum, I like those, but. I think the plastic ones are like a couple pennies cheaper. Somebody else donated. Let's see. Rebecca. I feel like I keep missing somebody. I got you. Hey, one of my faves, Cherry. Hey, Alicia. Hi to Robin and Steve. Love boy hooks. Boy. Okay, I do have a boy. I actually have a whole bunch of boy. I don't know how I have so many. Maybe I just picked them up at flea markets. Here's a boy. If you guys are wondering what boy crochet hooks, they have a more rounder head. I guess what I was saying, it has a bulbous head. I made it sound crazy. It's not like, maybe if I put my face next to it, it'll focus better. My camera's like, <laughs> learn to focus against my face. Okay, I'm gonna put the, in line so it wasn't blurred against my face. Can you get, I know this is weird. This is so weird. Can you get, I, I can't get it even. There we go. Now you can see the difference. I just like this one. Oh, another one of my friends, one of my best crochet BFFs, could it be CBFF? That's what she is. Hello, my dear. I'm a little late, but excited to see you. I'm super excited to see you. I've been nervous this whole live stream. That's probably why I have all this like extra energy. But thank you for joining us. Okay. All right, so well, I guess I've been talking too long. Let's hop on to the next one. I got wires all around me. So I guess the next question, 
ask me any question that you like. If you want to know what's my favorite color or anything about crochet business or what's my kids up to, well, probably not what's my kids up to. They're actually up to nothing. They just they lay around sometimes and just listen to music and play video games. But right now, ask me any question that you feel like. All you have to do is put a little question marks in front of it and we'll bring it up to the front. Let me pull this down. Where were we at? We did the bear pattern. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me scroll. This one is called the Julie Plant Cover. Oh, my daughter. What are you doing, Jada? I'm trying to read. My daughter's in the corner. A quick and easy crochet planter hanger or holder adds a special handmade touch to a last minute uh, Mother's Day gift or birthday gift. You can make this using three colors of scrap yarn, cotton is preferred, and just single and double crochet stitches. Uh, the designer of this pattern is Sincerely Pam. I'm going to beat my daughter's butt. Hope she's watching again on the live stream. All right, let me show you this next one. This one is called the Feather Stitch Plant Pot Cover. Have you tried the Feather Stitch before? It's a bit of a yarn eater, but it's an amazing texture and nice, sturdy, solid fabric. That's why it's the perfect stitch for crochet plant hangers and holders, like this marvelous monochrome mustard one. That is cute. Okay. Oh, and by the way, if anybody's thinking like, why does she talk to her daughter so bad? She's 20. She's an old lady. She's a grown woman. So I talk to her, however. Oh, <laughs> I got a super chat. Only one light went off. Let's see. Who super chatted? I'm not going to miss you. Thank you so much and cheers to you. Raise a drink. Mm. And you're going to get to spin the wheel of patterns. Let's bring up the screen share. Spin the wheel. And let's see. You get the crochet, uh, crochet flip flu. I guess it's just too many words. Crochet flip flu. This pattern right here, amazing. This is the one that went from zero to a quarter mil in a week. I was like, yay, I got a hot pattern. But that is the pattern that you receive. But in order to get this pattern, you have to email me. Oh, we got another super chat. So email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. The actual, so you can copy and paste, is down in the description box below. Oh, missed your chats. Thank you so much, Mary Ellen. I miss, ooh, I dropped my phone. I miss doing these chats so much. I'm always nervous right before I go on a chat. It's just, I guess, stage fright, even though I'm not on the stage. But when I'm on the chat, I don't want to sound crazy, but it feels really therapeutic. I crochet a lot, so therefore, I don't have anybody to talk to about crochet. Yeah, I can tell my husband, and my daughter is so sweet. She'll sit there and listen to me and say, oh, that's so nice, mom. But I know they truly don't care. You guys, I can talk to and I feel comfortable with and you don't think I'm crazy. So cheers to you. Let's give you a spin on the Wheel of Patterns. You got my Reggie slippers. They are these purple ones right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And we have another super chat. You're the best person in the whole out world, Robin. She says, I saw your flip-flop video. Mega congrats and great views. I've never had views like that before. My channel, guys, let you know, in the summertime, my channel is struggling. I mean, I love to make slippers and hats and stuff to keep you toasty, but nobody wants to stay toasty in the summertime. And I do this as a full-time job. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to like, I don't know, make my husband get 18 jobs. No, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> but this pattern blew up because I'm like, I'm making all the sandals in the world. So that's what I've been doing. And thank you so much. And just because you're robbing, we're going to spin the wheel again. We're going to give you a cheers. Mm -hmm. 
Robin's super famous, but she doesn't like to be called famous. She's yarn famous. And you get the crochet flip flops. I didn't share the screen. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. You did get the crochet flip flops, but now we're going to spin again. Or you get the jewel pattern or the crochet flip flops, whatever way you want, Robin. <laughs> Hold on. Why I'm an ambivert, yet I usually get called out for being a weird. That's what I get for being autistic, lighthearted. There's nothing wrong with being you. Be you, smile. Who cares what anybody else thinks? See, people are always so afraid to get on live. Like, what if you mess up? What if you slip on your words? What if this happened? I mess up all the time. Be you. Cheers. Robin says, some reviews on YouTube suck. It's not just you. Don't worry. No one is crocheting. I, I am excited. As soon as it gets into like September, October, the dr temperature drops. That's when the views go up. Oh, Maria, I see you. Are you are you peeking in the background back here? She says, which cricket did you go with? I've run it um, one for some time, but I haven't told... I've been told it's a bit of an addiction once you get started. I am a little scared to make the leap. It's the most amazing thing in a whole entire world. And it's the most addictive thing in the whole entire world. I have the, this is the Cricut Explore 3. They just came out with this one. It's supposed to cut even faster than what it did before. I have a video that I'll be coming out with this in about two weeks. I already have it filmed. I did a review. I gave this thing five balls of yarn. I've ironed. Oh, what else? I've made so many things. We call my husband Pop Dukes in the house. And he's cooks because I burn water. I can't cook. So he's a cook in the house. So I got him some oven mitts that say Pop Dukes. Or I made him, my daughter made a sweater from some type of anime she follows i don't know i'm not cool it's addictive and the addictive part is the materials i've only done maybe four projects but the materials i'm like what if i need 515 feet of vinyl just in case and you buy it then you're like what if i need it in red and you buy it and i'm not even doing crochet projects i'm not crochet but cricket projects like that but that being able to Oh, so much fun. It's addictive. Uh, I can't tell you to get it or not get it. I love it, but you will spend money on it. Not because you're using the materials so quickly, but if you're like me, you're just buying materials just in case it might do something. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I went too long on that. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh yeah, and if you guys have any questions for me, just remember put little question marks in front of it. Or if you already asked the question and I missed it and scrolled past it, please ask again. These comments scroll so fast and I'm trying to go through them at the same time, so, ooh. Ooh, Roberta, the devil. My son-in-law works at Michael, so I get to see all the new stuff. Guess Cricket is too cool. Cricket. It's the best. And then once I got the cricket, I immediately got on YouTube to look up like cricket hats. And then I looked up all the things you can buy from the Dollar Tree to use on your crickets. Like sometimes not buying the cricket material. Just so you know, if you use stuff that's not that cricket says not you're supposed to use on it, it voids your warranty. But on uh, other people's YouTube channels, they told you all these hacks on how to get stuff from the Dollar Tree or using, uh, what are they called? You know those, it's almost school time. So book covers, you know those plastic vinyl book covers? You can use that as material to use in your machine. So I'm like on a Dollar Tree website, getting up vinyl book covers in bulk, just in case I might need it. I'm bad. <laughs> Tell me about your channel membership. 
Oh, okay. So I'll tell you exactly about the channel membership. So I have two tiers to my channel membership. The first tier is for Yarnies. That is for $4.99. And you receive special badges for anybody that becomes a member of the, uh, my channel. You also receive special emojis that you can use during your chat or in a response to any videos that I've already created. You also receive updates on everything that goes on behind the scenes, pictures and videos. You receive early access to all of my videos and all of my video patterns super early before anybody else gets to get them. And you also get to be a part of uh, selected member polls, polls that only can be a part for members only. Hope that makes sense. And the second tier, I'm trying to remember these all off by the top of my head. The second tier is called the Yarnivores. Those are for people who want even more stuff. So Yarnivores get everything that's included on the first tier. Theirs is $9.99. You'll receive a special live stream just between us where we chat every single month. So it's not as crowded. You don't have to, oh my goodness, there's a member. It's Karen. Where are you, Karen? It popped up on my screen. I love you so much. Karen's one of my, she's my CBFF. I'm going to say that right. Okay, back to the second tier, the Yarnivores. You receive everything on the first tier, plus you get a special crochet and chat with me once a month. You'll also receive downloadable PDFs to every single one of my patterns. If you ever, you can also get my patterns on my blog for free, but these are downloadable PDFs on the end of each one of my pattern rows is a video timestamp. So you can look at row number one, see it starts at one minute and 20 seconds and fast forward to the video. This is perfect for especially those who don't know how to read patterns. You can read my pattern and watch the video at the same time and match my language with the stitches with the visual. You'll also receive, there's, oh, 25% oh, discount on all of my merchandise in my YouTube channel shop. There's a couple other things I can't remember. I'm so sorry, but it's a lot. <laughs> but if you click the join button, you can see everything that's offered. And I have created a whole video about what this is all about. Huh. Yes, Bailey, could you please give out your email address again? It's not under, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Riddle John's yarn at gmail.com. I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to put it in the description box right now. I am so sorry. There we go. YouTube. Yeah, so I'm going to try to chit chat as I'm looking in the back. I can never multitask at the same time. And I'm sorry, guys, if you my email was not in the description box. Here we go. I'm trying to go to the content quickly. Live stream. Here we go. Oh, it's in there. You just probably didn't see it. You have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the description box. It was in there. <gasps> I panicked. Okay, where are we? Do you do memberships for cats? Just checking for Steve. No, I don't. Where's Steve? Where's he at? Thank you for noticing, Leanne. You get extra chairs. First off, love your new glasses. Second, where did you get the inspiration for all of your patterns? Well, the inspiration for all of my patterns is tough. Um, when you are a, there's a lot of pattern designers that are bloggers and also, but when you're on the online of pattern, especially YouTube, you have to come out with them quickly. My patterns, if almost they're similar as they go if that makes sense. For this one, my first pattern was the, give me a second, not that. First, I started here with this pattern. That one became a success. Then I went to a barefoot. And then I'm like, okay, I keep within the same field. Then I went to this uh, slipper because it's a flip-flop. And you see the design up top. 
it's can you see it's actually the same design is in the toe of this i just rearranged the pattern in a certain way i know how to make a basic simple slipper but i'm like how am i going to make this slipper cooler i just did this pattern last week so it was fresh in my head so i created this sometimes i don't know what's going to be in my brain because as a youtuber you have to come out with patterns so quick and people's like so what are you going to be making for this year I'm like, I don't know. I'll see what my hook makes. Sometimes I know what it is. I know I want a slipper. I know I want a hat. And it's just playing with the yarn or playing with a new stitch that you learn. If you learn a new stitch, I'll sit there and be like, what can I do with this stitch? What can I do with the arcade stitch? I made a stitch pattern because Robin inspired me to do stitch patterns. But I did a stitch pattern for the arcade stitch. And I sat around like, what can I do with it? How about I wrap it around the ankle and make it look snazzy? How about I stick it in a toe of a foot? Toe of a foot, toe of the slipper. Mm. Here we go. Oh, you know you didn't put a question in front of yours, but I just missed talking to you and apologetically mocha she is one of the og people that always showed up to my youtube so i appreciate you coming i missed you i'm just you're talking about the cricket it is addictive addictive we've made a lot of things but it's been great for branding for my etsy shop and youtube channel i was thinking about my husband he instantly is like you can make all so much money i think anybody who gets the cricket instantly thinks about starting their own business. There's so many things you can make with it. It's just magical. And there's, it's like no thought. I am not crafty. When people see me, they're like, oh, you're on YouTube. You must be this crafty guru. I am a one trick pony. I know crochet. I don't know nothing else. But with this machine, I should have put the link down below because I'm talking about this like it's gold. But when I have this, I feel like an absolute genius. Oh, and if you're wondering what this part is right here, this is like a heat press for when you're making t-shirts. It's a big iron, so you can. Okay, I got it all messed up. It's not pretty anymore in my video. I'm sorry. Uh, forget it. You guys, step. You understand? I hope so. I think I think I think I missed some patterns. You guys still ask any questions that you want. Before you um, ask the question, please put question marks in front of it. Or if you want to brag about something that you've made, it's something, anything, put question marks in front of it. I want to talk about it with you. And I think I forgot one last pattern. I didn't even realize. So let's see what it is. What is this pattern that we forget? Oh, ain't that cute? I think it's the very end. Where is it? I can't find it. Here it is. Let me make sure I shared my screen, did I? Are you looking at my face? No, you're not. This is called simply crochet pot covers. Basic crochet stitches come together in a beautiful and interesting way in these adorable crochet pot covers. The main cover is worked in white yarn and then bright cording is woven in and out of the stitches for colorful accents. The designer of this is Mon Makes Things for Little Things blog. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. No, we had two left, one more. And this one is called Beginner Plant Cover. Crochet plant hangers and holders don't have to be fancy. Even the simplest design, like this one that uses just single and double crochet, can make a big impact on any space. Vis visitors will be dying to know where you got it, where you got that cute plant cover. This, these, it's all about the, can I make this bigger? Yeah, it is. Noah, it's all about the yarn more than the stitches. That is a beautiful yarn. Let's be nosy. What yarn did they use for this? Suggest the yarn. Ooh, yeah. I have not seen that before. Is this, do they still make this? It's not discontinued. Usually they say so. Has anybody ever worked with this yarn or seen it? I have never seen this yarn a day in my life. But those were all the... Uh, crochet basket hangers and holders. If you would like to see any of these or try any of these free patterns, 
All the links are down in the description box below. So guys, like I said, if you have any questions for me right now, now is the time to ask. This is where we chit and chat, Q&A, what's been going on. I guess that's it. Okay. Oh, and also if you would like to donate via Super Chat, you'll, you'll see the sign right there. When you do, the lights will go off, the bubbles will go off, and then you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. So let's go into the comments and see what's going on. See you later, Miss Robin. Thank you so much for showing up. I thank you so much. Mwah. She's the best. Deborah said, Brunette is wonder yarn. Gorgeous. That is some gorgeous yarn. I'll probably like orm knit with that. Rizia says, I've never used the yarn, but I love when I see it on YouTube. That, I love the, it reminds me. Okay, I'm about to make a mess. <sighs> Oh, I've been looking for an extra pair of flip flops because I've been making videos. There's stuff like hi ooh, hiding. Mm. All right, this is nothing like this. This is some yarn I got on a uh, wish like a couple years ago. I did like a review. The video said the yarn would be like this big and I should be holding it like, whoa, it was so big and gave me tiny skin. But that yarn looks like a smaller version of that, all smooth. Like it's not stringed or is that spun <laughs> it's actually like a fabric or a solid i don't know hmm robin's so cool everybody's like bye robin because robin's the best here we go she, she said she kept forgetting her question marks okay Knit and crochet tiger. I'm holding this like it's a baby. Knit and crochet tiger. What is your favorite yarn fiber color band size to work with? My favorite uh, yarn size, of course, is worsted weight yarn. That's what I grew up on. That's what my grandma taught me. My favorite uh, brand of yarn, it changed. Right now, I love the Mighty Stitch bulky yarn from We Crochet. It says it's a bulky yarn, but it's more of a really thick worsted weight yarn. I actually purchased a uh, a WPI whips per inch device and actually measured to see if it was truly a bulky yarn. It was like in between. It was like more of a, I guess it's worsted weight. Aaron is slightly thicker than bulky, but I love uh, that one, but I only use it as a worsted weight. Okay. Color yarn. I love the colors I love to crochet with, it's because of YouTube. I need something vibrant. You'll notice a lot of uh, yellows in my patterns or reds or something bright that pops. Because if you're scrolling, I want you to say, ooh, what's that? And uh, I think I answered all of it. Yeah. But originally, what my before I found uh, Mighty Stitch Bulky Yarn, my favorite yarns that were like in the Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby's. It was my blonde girls. I'll, I always call my blonde girls. You guys get so mad, but my blonde girls, my Vanna White and my Deborah Norville. What is it? Everyday yarn. And what's the other one? Everyday is Deborah Norville's. Vanna, I forget. Guys, which one is it? <laughs> okay. Somebody's get got to get kicked out. Here we go. I just blocked somebody who was just doing crazy. Thanks for letting me know about the spam. Here we go. Oh, anonymous Amy. I hope you. I missed you. I didn't get to say hello. She says. I know she's probably gone by now because this is a couple minutes ago. Unfortunately, I have to go for now. I haven't been able to join the lives lately, but I'm so happy I made it today. Take care. Stay cool, Amy. You have not missed a single live. I've taken basically a two month vacation from the summer just to relax and to regroup because I know once the fall starts going, I'm going to be real busy. Do, do, do. I got sneeze. I feel it in my nose. There we go. What Shannon says? Question. Okay. The brand that you said must be the one I like. I'm 50 plus years old and I only like the hooks my grandmother taught me. 
I think that is why I love my Susan Bates so much. It's just what she taught me. And I know I need to go to something more ergonomic, but I just hate the way it feels in my hand. I'm going to get ergonomic crochet hooks for Susan Bates, but they annoy me. I just like it. I'm stubborn. Oh, stubborn me. Okay, guys, if you have any more questions for me, let me know. Like I said, put little question marks in front of it and we'll bring it up to the front and we'll discuss it here. Let me take a sip. Oh, my cricket. I love you. This for guys just showed up. This is my glass yarn balling. I went to the Dollar Tree and bought so many things just so I can like put my cricket and put something on the front. Uh, Leanne said, can we do a live stream about crochet bags? Of course we can. I know I did market bags the last time, but we probably went like big bags. Where is my, I, cause I'll forget if I don't write it down. Whenever I look for a pencil, none of them have a tip ever. I, <coughs> I can pull 80 pencils from this bag and nothing. I want to try to remember that Leanne. Yes. I love to find new roundups. Like I said, we're going to be doing this again every single week. Here we go. Starless. <laughs> One trick pony. If you want to have fun, crochet, knit, draw, weave, slide, beads, paint, and music, make your way through life. It's like usually people who are crafty, I can. I can't. I am the person that has dabbled in all crafts, especially when I was younger, like in my early 20s. You know, when you're 20s, you're trying to find yourself. I'm like, maybe I want to make chandelier earrings because what was that? It was like the early 2000s. Or, or maybe I made, I did the latch hook, rugs, uh, be other beading jewelry. But nothing ever stuck like what my grandma taught me. I remember she did teach me needle. What's it called? When you take this fabric that's around a circle and it's pulled tight, needle punch, needle. I would love to do that again. She did teach me that when I was young and I don't remember it at all. Oh, what's in your glass today? What is it? Ow! What is in my glass today? Where's the box? Oh, I don't know, but it's a delicious red. I don't know what it is. Mm. But you know, guys, I'm tacky and I always drink. I don't drink from a fine bottle of wine. If you look in the corner, there's my box wine with a tap on it. I remember when I had a uh, hook by Robin on my live stream. And you know, she's from the UK. She's from over the pond and things are different over there. I had a box of wine and she's seen it. And she was like, that's so very American of you. I'm like, it is. Okay, what do uh, what do you the best what do you think the best place to sell crochet items will be? I want to make a few items to sell, but not sure the best way to do it. The best place to be is where most people are with the money that will buy it. I love to sell on Facebook, and I'm not talking about flooding your own personal Facebook page with "Hey, buy for me." Nobody likes that. I'm talking about going into the Facebook groups that people are in. I'm talking about the flea market Facebook groups, any of those selling Facebook groups. When you are in there, I want you to post in those groups. Actually, we'll be, I would usually say twice a day. And I want you to join at least 10 to 15 of those groups. I know that sounds repetitive, but the more people see you, the more likely they'll purchase from you. It's like, if you keep knocking at the door, somebody will let you in. That person that sees you today posting all the time, in three months when they have a baby shower coming up, they're gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna go to her. And I know as an, if you're a new crochet business person, you probably wanna go out and make a ton of things. Unless you're doing a craft show, unless you're doing a craft show, I don't recommend it. If you are doing a craft show, Yes, I do recommend making a lot of stuff. But if you're going to focus more online, make the option once. Say it's available in this many colors. Take a picture. That picture you can use for years. 
So, cause usually when people see something like, oh my goodness, I love these slippers and you made eight slippers in tan, white and green. And they're like, do you have it in purple? Make it once, take a picture, then offer it in a different color for years down the line. Just post nonstop on social media. That's what you do. Get eyes on your work. Do, do, do. Needlepoint. That's what it is. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. And Starless said that uh, embroidery and punch needle seems like it. Maria says, what is the price difference between the two different memberships? The first one, which is the Yarnivore, not the first one is the Yarnies. That is $4.99. Who I froze. And the second one is the Yarnivores. That is $9.99. That is the price difference. Okay. What do you think the best, did I do this one? I make a few items to sell, but not sure the best way to do it. What best, it's different for everybody. I can tell you one thing. For me, when I was selling uh, physical items, I did crazy with hats. Hats and small things just flew. But my friend, uh, Shanna Gibbons, she is Creative Stitch and Diva. She does Afghan. She has her own niche, 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 niche. You know what I'm talking about. But what she does, she made a killing in that. Sometimes you got to find what's easiest for you, most cost effective for you, and what people are looking to get from you. I hope that makes sense. When I began, I made anything. I would love to take you into my old shop. I made horse cover harnesses. I made baby blankets. I made adult cartoon character hats. If you said, hey, Leisha, I seen this on Pinterest. Can you make it? I say, yeah. But eventually, when I start creating those, some of the things that I made, people started to say, oh, I seen you made this hat. And that's when the hats became my thing. I hope that made sense. Oh, Crafty Chat says, have you tried the arthritis, arthritis, arthritis gloves that Jaden Stitches uses a while ago? She lives by them. Are you talking about the blue compression gloves? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back to her channel and check it out. Oh, Karen says, Alicia, my dear, I can hear your voice saying it. I need to leave to hit out with my daughter. Have a lovely afternoon. You got this. Thank you. And you and your daughter have a beautiful afternoon. Here we go. Bailey says, Alicia, I've really enjoyed this live, but I have to go and uh, stay safe, stay inspired, and keep crocheting. Thank you so much. And Starless is like my buddy up here. We're talking like back and forth. That feel when, you, when you're so confused on crochet for a year, you let everything yarn and everything fiber-related consume your life. Constantly thinking about yarn and rambling about everything yarn. Yes. That is actually what I do. I truly became like yarn gangster, like hardcore back in 2015. That's when I took my very first crochet item and said, I'm going to sell this. And I put it on Etsy and nothing happened. But that was when I lost all other focus. I lost everything and I gained like 35, 40 pounds. <laughs> Okay, let's see. True, the gloves might be an alternative to changing your beloved hooks. I definitely think so. Okay, guys, I think we can probably wrap it up here for today. I appreciate you so much for joining me on my live. It has been so long. and But don't worry, we're going to be back to our normal schedule every single Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget to join my new membership. Uh, all the information will be down below. If you click the join button, you'll get to see a video so you can see exactly what it's all about. And anybody that joins today, 
you'll receive actually oh my goodness i forgot something awesome actually uh everybody everybody today can get my read my book for free i got it on amazon i uh, forgot to post it in the description box oh my man wait uh yeah it's unlimited you can read it for free everybody that's why it said free i'm going to put this in the description box guys so you can all read the book for free anybody from the live stream anybody is down officially saved I meant to tell you that it slipped my mind and now the live stream's over. So if you want to start selling crochet, venturing into your business, everybody, if you click that link below, you can get it on your Kindle. But if you join through the membership and you don't want to have it on Kindle, I didn't mean to put all these stipulations. It's weird. Then I'll be able to send it to you via email. It's weird. Amazon's weird. So those can get it for free and the memberships can have a more tangible copy. I made it sound worse. All right. But thank you everybody. And I'll see you on the very next live stream in a video. Bye guys.